Hello everybody and welcome once again to All The Fabric 3. Today we're going to carry on a little bit with Conjuring and then we're going to move on to Better End. So what we couldn't do last time was to use the Scepter or the Superior Conjuring Scepter in order to get um, Conjunction Lessons. Now I found out how to do that, so let's look at that first. So here I have a lot of chickens and they're mostly sort of adults. I'm going to throw down a bottle of poison <laughs> like that. To bring, <laughs> to bring them down to about half a heart. And then we can simply use the conjuring scepter, scepter on one of these, by holding down the right button and then just shift clicking it. And then it kills, as you see, uh, uh, kills the chicken. But also at the same time, it gives us some conjuring scepters, uh, conjuring, conjuration essence. I've got now eight. So let's have a look at that, doing that again. <laughs> So now we've got nine, and you can carry on doing this until all of the chicken. I probably won't, I probably won't grind all of the chickens because I've got enough already. You have to wait for about, uh, I'm not sure how long afterwards, probably around about five seconds before you can use it again. So it's, it's easy enough to do as you can see. <laughs> as you see, the timer goes down and then you can use it again. Now the chicken, the chickens will still have half a heart, so I'm going to leave them for the time being, and maybe I breed them up again. So when I need some more conjuration essence, so it's easy enough to do. So there we are. So that's all I want to do with that. In fact, they've given me quite a few. Uh, I've got a few raw chickens actually, considering I did six. So we, did I do six? I can't remember to be honest with you. I had six to start with. Anyway, I'll put those away and I'll be back in a second. So one of the requirements you need for conjuring is um, soul sand. Uh, soul sand and soil oil, um, soil, and you can get that from gold item pipes in the quarry. So if you have a look at the uses of the gold item pipes in the quarry, you can see you get uh, magma blocks, soul sand, blackstone is also needed. Another act which you don't really need for anything, to be honest with you, these days. Uh, basalt and soil and soul soil. So what you can then do is put these into here like that. So I'm going to put those into this chest so they're going to get taken. The quarry is going to start working and it's going to produce items. Now here I've got an, some motors in here and if you see, look at this, each motor in turn, this is the, the cheapest motor and this will actually move will upgrade the pipe speed by two items for every three seconds. The next one along is the large motor, which will do eight items. The advanced motor will do 16 items. And the large advanced motor will do 64 items. And as you can see here, I've got some netherrack going through here, but it goes through fairly slowly. So in order to speed that, you could put into this, any of the item pipes, a motor like this, and then it will automatically go out faster. And you see, I've got filtered netherrack in here. So now this will should start to go out faster. But as it happens, we will see it actually doesn't go out fast enough. So I'll move that there. Um, as, as the quarry speeds up, you're, you're getting stacks and stacks. In fact, it's a fairly expensive way to do it anyway. A much cheaper way would be to use an output server under a night or a receiver. Any of the two servers plus an item pipe mark 4 will then transfer 250 items per second, which is considerably faster than 64 items every three seconds. So this, for me, that actually isn't really good enough, but for the time being, we'll leave it and we'll see what we're gonna do. So now we're gonna go and do the better end. And there's two things we need uh, for the better end. Uh, you'll need these crystals here, which they look like this, uh, Aurora crystals. And you're also going to need some ender ore. And what we need those for, let's have a look. I should have some materials already prepared. In fact, I think they're in one of these boxes I've got prepared here. So that's 71. Here we go. So here we've got the different items. So we need uh, ruined flavorite. Now, ruined, and we need, from that we need polished. We make that from polished. So let's have a look at the recipe for this, first of all. So we need these uh, crystal shards, which are made from the aurora crystals, simply breaking these up. We'll get, Four of those around the infusion pedestal are on a polished flavor. I will give one of these ruined flavorites. We'll look, we'll look at the uses of that in a second. In fact, that probably doesn't tell me the uses in here. No, it doesn't. That's one of the items you need. And the other item you're going to need are eternal crystals. Now, the recipe for these 
Uh, it's almost the same thing, but we all need these ender shards here. Now the ender shards come from these plus a end crystal in the middle. So let's demonstrate that. So here, for example, these usually come in blocks of uh, like one. So if I break all of these up here, we've got uh, around about eight or nine. That will give us a few 32 ender shards. So that will make eight of those. Yes, that will make eight. And the Aurora crystal will break that up. And, and then we get uh, a stack and 29 of those. And all we need to do then is to put these on the pedestals here. So for example, let's make the the flavorite ones first of all. I'll need to get that out of my bag. In fact, it's night time. I'll just do that. We'll do the first one and then we'll need these bits. We need some crystals, got some crystals. Don't need those, enough already. So I'll put the items that I need in my hot bar here. And then we can actually start to make the items. So for example, we're going to need six of these crystals. So we can, in fact, that's wrong. I have to do that last. So I have to put everything down first of all. So always in the, on the ordinal pedestals, you put the crystals and then in the diagonals, you put the, the next item along here, whichever it is in particular case. And in the middle, you put your, oops, wrong one. Take it off again. You put the end crystal in, then you see it actually then does its processing, as you can see from the animation. And that's then going to make our first eth eternal crystal. It takes a few seconds, it shouldn't actually take that long. There we go. And this produces, as you can see, light. So now we've got, we should have two, one of those. I've got one in the chest as well, haven't I? Yes, I have. So I'm going to make some more of these and I'll be back in the morning. See you in a few seconds. Well, I said you could put this on last. Actually, that was false. Incorrect. I should have said it's actually, yeah. Uh, you can put them on any any order at all. So, for example, we can put two crystals down here, and then we could put these in. It didn't work for you one time, I just, so I assume that was a general rule, but it doesn't seem to be. So let's just put these two on here like that. And it starts to process, so it doesn't matter which order you do anything. In So the next one of these we're going to be doing is the ruins which don't take very long to do these are actually much quicker than the the crystals so let's just do those we just need only crystals and polished flavor right now polished flavor right is easy to do as well that's um recipe for this one it's just the, the standard crit so you basically do flavor right bricks and in a two by two crafting grid and you'll get four polished flavor right and the, these are just simply flavor right for a in a two by two will give a um, flavor right bricks. So they're fairly straightforward. Uh, so we can simply make some ruins by simply putting that on there like that with crystals and on the ordinal direction. So it's in there. And then you get a polished one. We'll just do two of these because I only need, well, it depends actually. What we're going to do is we're going to make a portal. Like that. And the portals requires these ruins and these crystals. So let's go back. That's done now. There's a chicken over here. Somehow it's got out of the way. Oh, well, right. I haven't got my... Um, I don't know how he got out of there, but anyway, he's out of here. So let's go to the end now. I've got the stuff that we need. I think there's nothing else. I'll just put the eggs away and be back in a second. So with my pocket wormhole, I'm going to go back and find the end gateway. Simply left click that. Oh, that's over here. And you'll see straight away, I've actually got these Aurora crystals here. So now we're going to find an end portal. So that's fairly straightforward. I've got my, um, oh, dragonflies make a bit of noise. And I've upset a, dra I've upset already upset an end, uh, <laughs> an enderman. That's no big deal. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll find one of these portals and be back in a, as soon as I found one. Well, I found one straight away. <laughs> Dead easy. So I'm obviously going to have to get rid of this slime. Otherwise, it's going to be. A, Jumping on me while I'm doing this, so let's get rid of him. I'll, I've also got something else I found in somewhere around. I can't remember what it was, one of the chests. Uh, and that's a glove. And the glove I've got on, as you can see, it sets things alight. So I get a bit of extra damage when I do, when I attack things with, with melee. Uh, so it has to be melee, of course. Let's go, go. Goodbye. Right. Last one. Good. Now, they'll be around all the time and they'll be, they'll be a bit annoying. So what we do is you have to create this, this, this shape. So if there's missing ruins, which there are usually, you then have to put it in here. Uh, oh, there's another one over there. Tell you what, I'll just get rid of him and I'll be back in a second. 
So the next thing you do is you just put these um, crystals, the eternal crystals, on these corners like this. And you'll see it makes these, these patterns. I'm not 100% sure if this tree's in the way. I might have to move it out of the way. So you need six, and you never have any. So we'll have to... Yeah, this one needs to be broken away. Let's just break this away. Like that. Then we can put the six, sixth one on here. Do not go on here because there's something in the way, I guess. Let's just break for us. Oh! Well, <laughs> right, that worked. It just had a delay. <clears throat> Quite a long delay. So all you now do is you go through this portal, like this, and you'll end up somewhere in the overworld with another another portal which could be anywhere so let's have a look where we are in terms of the map and where home is i have actually got the mini map turned on but i don't think i've got waypoints turned on it was wrong one let's turn on waypoints there we go so i should be able to see somewhere base uh yes this base is over here if i turn off some of the waypoints that we don't need so let's go to um i want to go to you don't try to do that i think it's you yes where are we well, okay, that's interesting. We've got a few of these, so I'll just, I just disable these, or, yeah, just disable them, and then you don't have to see them when we're looking at them anyway. I'll leave deserted, because that's something actually interesting, and a village spawner. So now we can see the base is about, well, 1,400, 13, 49 blocks away. So... I've never been here before, obviously, and um, you can do, keep do that, and you can do that to any of them, but you have to make these ethereal crystals. So let's go back to the end through this portal here. And let's go and have a look at how you find these crystals, because they're actually quite tough to find. Now, what I do is they are hidden away in end stone. So you have to basically, I go underneath all of the islands, just have a look up. So you can just um, turn off the waypoints as well. I've got a few of those marked. It's wrong. I keep doing press the wrong button. Never mind. So you just look underneath here and you'll find one or two. You'll find all sorts of materials actually, which are actually useful. And I don't bother spending too much time doing too much with them. But these ones are also interesting here. We've got Azure Jade Stone. So if, if we break some of this up, which was no point in not doing, we get some sandy jade stone uh, and this one is some more azure and this one here is virid virid uh, so you can collect these and that basically those are the three types and if you actually have a look at the uses of these we can make items out of them and what one of the useful ones is we can make stone harpoon as well but it's the same as stone for most of them except for the pedestals we can make pedestals out of these I think. Oh. Where's the pedestal gone to? Oh, I know what you have to do. You have to make up some jade stone slabs and look at the uses of those. And then you can make these pedestals. So all three of those materials will make pedestals for you. And you can also make these jade stone lanterns as well. I haven't made any of those, by the way. So let's just carry on looking for a bit more of this. You. It's sort of quite rare, but there are different materials around. So there, there are about three materials that go and harvest when we do this. Sometimes I'll harvest some flavorite. This is flavorite here, this, this sort of pinky stuff, but I've got stacks of it, don't need any more. There's an island over here which suddenly disappeared, but you can, you can see it and you come near it. And what we're just looking for is just the dark little green bits. We'll, you'll find a few minerals. Unless I've been around here already and done that. But it doesn't look like I have because the map's not updating. Here we go. This is tungsten, I think. Yes, this is tungsten. So we can simply mine that up um, with the graph key. Now, the graph key, somebody said they can't find it. Well, on my keyboard, it's on the top left-hand side, but I've got a UK uh, keyboard. So it does depend. And then we've got some more tungsten ore like this. You can break these if you want to. I probably don't need any of it. The other one of the, is, these are thalesium ore, which is equivalent to iron. You can take that as well. Um, but I'm still looking for the other ones. There's another two ores we'll find. Two ores? Three ores we'll find, I think. But I'm just have to keep looking for them. So let's hunt around a bit. 
But there are a lot of entities around here as well. As you can see, it is fairly rare. <laughs> a load of Endermen sitting on a little island. That's interesting. And they are quite... Oops. I don't want to do... I don't want to go down too far, if I can help it. I don't know what happened there. I must have pressed the button twice. Because we are quite low. In fact, 58 in... I don't want to go... I think if you go below zero, then you enter the void and die. <laughs> Tell you what. I'll keep searching around. And when I find something interesting, I'll be back. Well, this is usually interesting. These are broken ships. And in broken ships, you quite often find a chest. And the chests usually contain interesting stuff. So let's go down here. There are two chests in here. That one's empty. And that one's empty. I've probably been here already. Maybe, maybe not. Let's take the two chests anyway. And there's usually another one at the back here, if you find them like that. But they're sometimes they're hidden. So if, for example, here we've got end moss. So let's just um, harvest the end moss with... There we go. I'm just seeing if we can find another chest. If not, that's just life. It's, sometimes they have them, sometimes they don't. But you can just break away the items that you've got here. Oops. I don't know, fall down a little hole. Dragonflies, by the way, don't drop anything, so they're not much use in that respect. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's actually unusual. I haven't seen a brew stand here before. Has it got anything on it? It's got two bottles of potions of healing. Let's take that. I'll find it. I'll find another one in a while anyway, and I'll, I'll see you in a second when we find something else interesting. Well, here's some. And that's what it looks like. It's actually pretty hard to find, as you, as you can see. But they usually come in only once. In this case, I think I got more than one. I got two. That's actually, that's luck. So we got two of those. In fact, in this one, I always bring myself when I come here a, sp a spare um, shulker box. And I should have an empty one here. So I can usually put some of the stuff away that I'm picking up. And you pick up quite a lot of stuff, as you can see. Some, some more thesium oil. We'll take that as well. Because it's equivalent to iron. I don't really need it. Just It's just there. And above it, actually, I have just... Oh, look, here's a bit of luck. I've seen two more of these. And here's a ship. So let's just take these. This is really, I think, is the only way of getting these. I'm holding down the graph key, which is actually the back quote is another way of looking at it. And we can should be able to find something interesting on this because right behind me, there's actually an end city. So let's have a look in here if we can find anything interesting. You'll see this one's lying down, as you can see. And there is a, a chest. I think I've added irritated at Enderman, so let's see if I can get to this chest, if I kind of break like that. And that's a typical sort of chest you'll get. Um, this one, you'll get these helmets, and they usually got curses on them. <laughs> a lot of these have got curses on them. I don't ask me why. Uh, so I just need to make some space. Let's just make some space. You can open up shulker boxes, just by, and then ender chests as well, by simply right-clicking them into a space. Let's just put stuff that we don't need in here, for example. And mycelium moss, that was mycelium moss. We'll leave the ore because we're going to get some more of that end moss. And we'll put away the jade No, we'll leave that here. Uh, endstone salactite is also something that you'll get. In fact, I think that I don't need the end slime banner. We'll leave that in there. Then we can just sort this a bit. And then we can break, then we can break the chest and just get its contents out of here like that. And there's usually another one. Sometimes you get some really good rewards in these. So I was looking for that. I wait a few seconds because it really is slow, as you can see. I've just right-clicked this chest. And that's how long it took to open up. I Don't ask me why. This one isn't particularly interesting. So, but I've got no space again. But we do have a, an entity map. So we'll take that one. And at the same time, I'll empty out this here. I've just got to find the right place. If I click it in the wrong place, it'll just go up like that. So that's OK. So we can get rid of all of this stuff in here. That we don't need with us, so we'll put that in there. And then we'll just take this chest, and we've got some clocks and some compasses, which of course are no good in the end, but they're generally useful for other things. Oh, and one thing that's actually you should know uh, in my description of all my videos, I will have a, a link to a um, 
Dropbox file, and in the Dropbox file, it's just a text file, and in that file we will get a list of the contents of the whole series. So let's just take the... So in here there'll be an elytra, so let's just go and get the elytra. In fact, I've already got... Oh, there isn't one. Maybe I've sort of been here, because there should have been one in here. But I did notice there were quite a few sh shulkers over the other side. Oh yes, I've been here. I've got. In fact, I have actually just collected that one. I've got a waypoint here. I'm not sure which one it is, but it does it tell me? Right, click it. Yes, this UNE means unexplored. So I've actually done it, but I haven't explored in it. But I'm not very good at doing entities. But if we take the sword like this, come along here. You can still kill these guys, but when they're doing that, oops, another one over here. But they're really hard to dodge. Oh, got it, that one. Got rid of that particular one. Anyway, we're not really interested in those, except for we'll have a look at some of the chests in the city here, because they are usually got some really good stuff in, especially for... Um, especially for Tech Reborn. They've got really good chests for Tech Reborn, which we should find in... None of these ones at the top here are any good. You have to go down a bit, so... Unfortunately, you have to go down through the... The dangerous area, which is sort of here, as you can see. Oh, that one. All right, Enderman got in the way. There's another one somewhere around here. I can hear him probably by the doorway. Oh, yes, look. Ah, oh, what's happening? I can't get through because I've blocked. Okay, fine. Let's just go down here. This one seems to be a bit sort of broken. I'm not quite sure why. Let's just get rid of some of this end stone here. Okay, must be at the entrance in that case. It's strange. Is the city just a tiny city? Oh, it is, isn't it? There doesn't seem to be very much here at all. I can fly. Okay. I should be back in again. Oh, there's two more materials I would like to find if it's possible. Um, Sheldonite is one, and you'll see how they look. It's important to know how they look. Cause, and the other one is. I can't remember, to be honest with you. All right, I'll be back in a second. So here's another ore, which we can go and collect as well. This one is solder light ore. This is slightly different from, it looks similar to tungsten, but it's actually, it doesn't, when you got used to it, it doesn't look the same. Um, oops, I pressed the screenshot for some reason or other, that's me why. And I usually take this as well. Oh, I've got no space in my inventory, no space in my inventory. Okay, right, I shall clear up and I'll be back in a second. So here we have two more rocks you can make pedestals out of. Brimstone's one of them, I think. And the other one here is sulfuric rock. You can also make pedestals out of this. Uh, in fact, I think we are by sulf... Yes, we are. In fact, we are in a sulfuric area where you can go and get those um, little bulbs that you need to make other items. I think the ones... You normally go down straight through here like this. If you can. <laughs> it's difficult but maybe not easy, always easy and possible to do this. So maybe I have to go out from the other side. I did before, I used my jetpack. I don't have a jetpack with me. Jetpack makes this a lot easier than not having a jetpack. In fact, you can go down through these tunnels like this. There are no tunnels here, but you make some. So just make some tunnels. And this is actually provides you with some air as well, because you'll go through here. And as you go through, as you can see, there is no it gives you air. And here we come to another one of these. And down here we'll see... Oops, I'm getting pushed. If I press... If I hold down shift, actually, I can get past this. Oops, I didn't get past it. <laughs> I've got pushed up to the top again. <laughs> we can, but you can break your way out of this easily enough, so... Like that. So as you can see, I've got pushed right to the top. Okay, uh, I've covered this before, so I'm not going to cover that again. Anyway, I think it's time to go back home. So I'll see you in a second. 
There was one more ore I didn't show you, and that's this one here, sodalite ore. So I've got silk touch, and it's always a good thing to, to use this one. That one actually gives you platinum. If you look at the uses of the sheldonite ore, sorry, is, is platinum. And it basically, you can make it to one, smelt it to one platinum, but I think there's more efficient ways, like the industrial grinder with, with um, mercury will give us three, and you'll get some iridium ore as well, which is quite nice. Um, furnaces, oh yes, you can do it again in the um, macerator, and this will also make this platinum sulfuric based solution, which will make, we basically end up with three as well, but you don't get the iridium from that one. So that's the, the end of the end, I think. <laughs> right, I'll see you back at base. Well, that's it for this episode. Um, there's one thing I haven't done with Better End, have a quick look at Better End here. We haven't made the respawn obelisk, and the reason for that is I haven't found any amber as it happens. We need to find some amber gems, which we find from raw amber. Put four of those together, and I don't know whether that... I've actually not found any of that yet, so, so until I find it, I can't make that. But we can actually make other items in Better End. It has a set of armour, so it has... Terminite helmets and chest plates and leggings and stuff like that. They're not too bad. They're about six, seven armors worth. Um, the recipe for these, by the way, is to use these Terminite forge plates, which we'll look at some other times. So we need Terminite ingots. They're made from uh, smelting uh, iron plus ender dust. Ender dust is basically ground hammered uh, ender pearls. So, and it does tool damage on this as well, interestingly enough. Why? Oh, because then the shards are more. But that, but they're just less damage. Okay. <laughs> so that's interesting. So until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.